Hello and welcome. I'm putting a video together. We're going to be looking at some material that I took a sample out of what's flowing out of this cave. Yeah, you can see how big that entrance is. I, I believe this is a vein now because of what I found. And we're also going to be looking at some... Um, well, let me show you. I'll show you another place. Hold on. So I'll be looking at some material I took here. Okay, so what we're going to be looking at is I took this out of the I took this sample from the cave and this is not any intrusive basalt or you know, it, you know anything like that what they're thinking what they're calling it that's what they would probably call this an intrusive basalt but this is no type of a granite or a diorite at all and then this here is from a flow that I showed you up in the cascades this is lava super light blown out uh, it's a real ceramic sounding I don't feel it's real ceramic sounding super light this is super dense so let me show you the samples I the sample I took out of the cave I'll show you that real quick and then we'll look at this underneath something 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 <laughs> probably looking at the magnification also and some material I took from up in the highest cascades from a lava flow okay I'll be showing you that so we'll have some lava and we'll have some stuff that also came out of that that cave I'll show you and we're gonna be looking at it underneath a micro or underneath a we may look underneath the microscope, but I'm going to look under the magnification here. All right, let's stand back and look at this. You see the material coming out here? It's a no-brainer. You can see stuff is flowing out. I'm standing on it. This is not magma. This is not a lava tube. Absolute, I've looked at a lot of lava tubes. You can go up and look at them yourself. Just Google lava tubes. So this material is really hard. Real hard. So I'm going to try to break some of it off here without getting my eyes gouged out. And then we'll take a look at that there. Alright, so I set the camera up, the GoPro, and I took a sample out of this. Okay, and I brought it home. That's the darker piece, the heavier chunk that we're going to be looking at under a microscope too. <coughs> Excuse me. This stuff is not any type of a intrusive basalt. This is not a diorite or a granite or anything like that. And it's never been heated. There's been no heat applied. And you will also never see an intrusive basalt flowing out of a cave like that. Okay, it'd be some type of a lava. Intrusive, extrusive lava, uh, magma, something like that. So anyway, I'd get a chunk here without blowing my eyeballs out. <laughs> and we'll be looking at it here right now it's underneath the microscope. So... All right, thanks for joining me. Let's take a look and see what this looks like compared to the lava, which is all blown out and it's been um, heated. You can tell it's been heated. Okay? All right, thanks for joining me. All right, this is what I took out of the cave. I chipped this off out of that flow which coming out. Um, and it's not any intrusive basalt. Okay? This is really heavy. Um, and I know what intrusive basalt is. I also know what extrusive basalt is. This is actually what you call extrusive basalt. This is lava. Um, and it can be different types of material. Using an intrusive basalt is normally like a granite or something like that. And there's like six types of granite or a diorite. And this is nothing like that. Okay. This is what, this is actually vein blood. That's what this is. And I'll show you, you know, I showed you in the video what was flowing out. And there was not you're not going to have intrusive basalt flowing out of a cave like that you're not you're going to have if it was a lava tube you'd have lava you'd have some type of a lava like this flowing out that's what you would have flowing out okay so let's take a look underneath this maybe i can show you a little bit closer what it looks like this is what came out of the cave see how black and shiny this is and if it was if it was um, an FeO two three, it'd be oxygenated and it'd be more of a red instead of this black. So it's more of an Fe two O two. And then here you have the lava. This is lava. See how porous it is. See see all the holes in it. It's been superheated. And I understand this very well. I live close to volcanoes, not too far away from me, a couple hours away. Um, and this is this is what lava looks like. You see the red on here. People think, well, that might be blood. No, that's just the colors as it cools down and this is what it does super porous super light real ceramic sounding and um, I have a bigger chunk here somewhere but anyway we're looking underneath the microscope and you take a look at this stuff and you'll have an, a better idea 
what we're, we're dealing with. Okay? All right, so I got the old Celestron hooked up here, and we're going to take a look. We'll take a look at the lava first, which would be actually in some kind of an extrusive basalt. So it's 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 external magma. That's that's what it is. But that's what lava is. So this is lava. From I got from the high cascade. See all the holes all over in it? I mean it's just pitted, pop marked all over the place because it was boiling at one time. It was real liquid. Does that make sense? It was it was molten. So it's gonna have a lot, you know, there's not gonna be a whole lot of silicates and stuff like that. It's gonna be all melted and burned out. And this is what happens when stuff has actually had heat applied to it. And it's gone through a smelting process. Okay. So this is and this has been superheated. This is out of a lava flow from a volcano. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at the stuff I took out of that cave. It's gonna have more silicates and stuff like that in it. See how, see how much different looking this is? This is no type of lava. Absolutely not. It's never been superheated. It's never, it's never been heated, period. There's no heat been applied to this. Okay? It's never been, you know, um, smelted. This is dur this is during this this is nu nucleophilic transition here, um, nucleophilic substitution. See how it's totally different. Look, you know, it's not all it's not all full of holes or none of that stuff. And this was never a liquid intrusive basalt that was flowing out of a cave. That's absolutely not. But, you know, that's what a geologist would try to tell you. Well, that's uh, that's an intrusive basalt. <laughs> no, it's not. Absolutely is not. And, an intrusive basalt would never have flowed out of a cave like that. Okay? Not the way it works. And you're going to see some quartz in here. Right in there. Which I would expect. Okay, so there you have her. You got to take a look at the lava, which is extrusive, which was superheated, and then this here, which I took, I, I showed you where I got it from. All right, that's about all I got. Have a blessed day, and uh, be bringing more videos, Lord willing. All right, thanks a lot. Bye bye now.